the way, the Christmas star <laughs> is going to be visible in the sky for the first time on this planet since 1226. That's kind of cool. Isn't that? I think that's really cool. Doesn't matter though. We're gonna we're gonna get eaten by a black hole anyway. That's so. true. We'll tell you about that in a second. But um, on December twenty first, for the first time since twelve twenty six, the Christmas star will be visible. Uh, the Earth, Jupiter, and Saturn will be aligned. They're going to be all lined up in a row, and Jupiter and Saturn appear to be incredibly close. And it. It looks like what some astrophysicists think is the Christmas, Christmas star, star. Yeah. because it was so bright and so big when those two planets got together that it looked like one brand new star. Could it have been? Yeah, I suppose so. Uh, if you managed to see the crescent, crescent moon past Jupiter and Saturn this week, you might have noticed something else about the solar system's two largest planets. They're now really, really close to each other. And uh, the date of December solstice, they're gonna, they'll appear to almost collide, hmm. and will be one super bright point of light. That is really, really cool. cool. Yeah, really cool. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but there's a great. Um, it's like a. Uh, it's like a presentation, like a an academic presentation, but he makes it really interesting. Where this guy who wasn't an astrophysicist. I think he was a lawyer, but he got really curious about where the Christmas star came from. So he started doing a whole bunch of research, and he actually went back to the star dates and the star charts and mapped it all out and went back and forth like 2,000 years over and over and over again. And he came to the conclusion that it is Jupiter and Saturn that get together and form the star. Uh, I was just going to do that, too. I'm glad. Were you going to do that? Yeah, it's already been done for you. Yeah, I can see you jumping into that. Man, did I want to do that. With both feet and just loving the research. I I can see it happening. Oh, did I I not want to go back (laughs) 2,000 years of star star charts? forward again and then back a little bit further. Right, yeah, I know. That's disappointing, I might do it anyway, just because. Really? Yeah, just because. (laughs) Yeah, well, that's you. That's kind of check his work. You're going to check his work and make sure it's like peer reviewed. Why don't you do that? Get back to us. Okay. (laughs) Maybe I'll I'll, uh, I'll find that video and and give you the name of it because it's really, it's worth watching. It's really good. Yeah. I mean, that sounds fascinating. It It really does. I mean, I'm I'm not going to do it. You're not? No. Oh, Oh, you're just because you're, oh, wow. Not now. No, I decided no already. You got my hopes all up that you were going to substantiate his work. Uh, (laughs) I believe him. Not now, though. I believe him. That's fine. Based on yeah, just, my description of it, yes. yeah, which was yeah. so powerful. Yeah. I mean, he's not right. a scientist, but you know, he's an attorney, so I believe him. But go ahead. If you can't believe an attorney, <laughs> right? You know what I mean. Thank you. Who can you believe in? And like I said, it doesn't matter because we're going to get eaten up by the black hole anyway. Well, we're on the way. I uh, mean, and they just figured out it's going to happen well, two thousand light years before what they thought it was going to. Thank happen. you. Okay, so the Milky Way has this huge black hole in it. Uh-huh. And it's called Sagittarius A. Okay, we all know that. And then ni- I'm sorry. Don't talk down to in us. In 1985, mm-hmm. it was thought to be <laughs> 2,000 more. Well, 1,900 more light years uh, away, away than from it us. Is. Okay. Yeah. And Uh-oh. now, and now it's closer. So, so it was. 27,000 light years away, right? 27,700. And now it's only 25,000 light years away? 800 light years oh, away. Oh, yeah. wow. So, I'm scared oops, now. Just around the corner. Just around the corner. You know how fast time flies. I mean, before <laughs> I you know do. it. Before you know it. I do. It'll be 27,000 light years. Well, no, after, in, if it's 27,000, we're already gone. Oh, that's right. 25,800 yeah, 25. light years. <laughs> So how many times do scientists go back and have to correct over and their over. previous yeah. work? But don't you but dare question anything they're doing right you. now. Don't you dare, Keith. Thank Is that you. where you're going with this? Are you going to try to be a science denier now? Is that I'm gonna what say your that point was? Here in Dallas-Fort Worth <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, we had some really bad storms. We had tornadoes associated with a line of storms that yeah, came through here. Yeah. We were supposed to maybe, it was a 10% chance of a rain shower that night, and we ended up having damaging tornadoes that went through Metro Dallas. They they can't predict the weather six hours from now, but, but no, no, can. no, 100 years from now, oh, easily. we got it covered. <laughs> yeah. Hundred years and out, hundred years from now, they know the sea level is going to rise twenty feet, yeah, or whatever it is. Yep, yeah, uh, they're and they're always right, except for temperature is going to go up. The opposite of that, 
uh, they're Except never the right. Opposite. Yeah, hmm. they they literally haven't been right on any of their models, and yet we're supposed yeah they're supposed to believe every single thing that comes out of their stupid mouths. Sorry, <laughs> I don't. Okay, I don't. Well, we know from the uh, the Inuit people, mm-hmm. uh, their elders have told us now that they've warned NASA that the Earth mm-hmm. has shifted. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah. What does that mean? Oh, don't uh, don't start bad mouthing the Inuit people. All of a no, sudden, I'm not. A little tone. No, no, Keith had that tone in his oh, voice, did, did like he? there's something. I think he was like just curious about what that means, uh, Jeffy. Yeah. And I'm hoping you're going to yeah, tell well, us. Well, their skies what that means. have changed. Okay. All right. The skies have changed. They, hmm. The position of the sun and the moon and the stars have all changed, causing the changes in temperatures. It's not global, global warming. warming. Yeah, it's not global warming. Just it's the, global shifting. That's is correct. That what's going the on? Earth has okay. shifted. The, the Earth has wobbled hmm. and tilted toward the north. So. Well, hmm. look. And NASA it, said it, it's uh, caused. Great concern. So NASA uh-huh. agrees with the Inuit? It said, it said provided by the Inuit elders has caused a great concern in NASA scientists. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. That is interesting. So they think there's something to it. Yeah. With the, so in other words, we it. don't know anything. <laughs> yeah. Our scientists right. don't know anything, but yet we're going right. to trust a vaccine that didn't exist two weeks ago to right. inject in all of our bodies. That's a good plan, too. Yeah. Science. Except hopefully you won't have to if you don't want to. Uh, maybe you won't have to. Yeah. So you won't be able to shop at the stores, but go ahead. Right. 